An all-star cast weaves a violent and funny tale through England's underground drug trade. This is a review of the new film, The Gentleman. The plot begins to thicken. Now, I can't be specific about the heroes and zeros, but our protagonist is a hungry animal. <laughs> there is a lot of money hanging in the balance. Our antagonist explodes on the scene like a millennial firework. And has indirectly started a war. Michael Pearson is an American and London's largest purveyor of pot, featuring both quantity and quality. But he's looking to get out, and the other drug lords want in. Weed. Bush. Skunkamola, White Widow Super Cheese. <laughs> it's the new gold rush. This is the thin end of a very fat wedge, sir. If it's such a fat wedge, why don't you keep it? See, I've developed a reputation as a man who came up the hard way. You could say that there's blood on these pretty white hands. Guy Ritchie, for me, is England's Quentin Tarantino and how he's able to romanticize the seedy underbelly of his homeland with rich and original storytelling while bringing the best out of his stars and also how hands-on he is, in this case, writing, co-producing, and directing. Matthew McConaughey is right at home as the pot-dealing Pearson and feeling righteous when pointing out what he sells leads to a cool buzz rather than addiction and overdoses. Charlie Hunnam is Raymond, probably the most low-key right-hand man in the business. And then there's the excellent Henry Golding, the wickedly lovely Michelle Dockery, a perfectly cast Colin Farrell, and an almost unrecognizable Hugh Grant who recites the tale with that trademark Richie Cockney accent found in many of his films. For me, other than a few let's move this along moments and been there, done that plot points, it's tight, funny, well told, and finely acted. And for that, I give the gentleman four stars out of five on the Rob rating scale because, like many things, it's easy to get in but tough to get out. I'm Rob LaFriends, and I'll see you at the concession stand.